continue to work hard to contain the valley fire recovery efforts are now underway the county opened a temporary local assistance center to help residents affected by the fire news 8's teresa sardina reports from the center in el cajon steve and alicia the assistance center is set up here at the county library's rancho san diego branch there's plenty of support staff to help those impacted by the valley fire i started gathering up a backpack of clothes and my dog and it seemed about 10 minutes later it like quadrupled in size. Single father Joshua Havens of Hidden Glen in Hoppetool Valley lost his home in the Valley Fire. Havens and Buddy are currently staying with family. So what is your plan right now? I know it's been a one full week. My plan is to gather a plan. He stops at the local assistance center in El Cajon set up by the county to inquire about financial help and to get information about his property he hopes to rebuild several agencies providing services to help residents recover from the fire and they're here to provide help on anything from getting food assistance uh, financial assistance maybe they need help removing debris from their property um, on the rebuilding uh, process and we have crisis counseling cal fire giving residents saturday's valley fire update uh, the fire is 17,665 acres uh, we have uh, the fire uh, destroyed 30 structures that were habitable and other minor structures uh, destroyed was 31. What you right here is containment line according to what you see right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, 69% contained. So. While Havens was getting assistance, he set up his GoFundMe page. It still seems surreal, you know, it seems like it's not happening. It's like a dream. I started like finding myself stalling, you know, trying to figure out what's more important, you know, and so I grabbed a few pictures off the wall. And Havens says he's always prepared to evacuate, but he needs to work on his recovery plan and continue to stay positive. Just kind of pull off of his power, you know, I mean, he's like a strong dog and he seems to endure all sorts of things. The local assistance center will be open again tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Monday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. We'll have all the information to help those impacted by the Valley Fire at CBS8.com. Reporting in El Cajon, Stephen Alicia, 